Welcome back, everybody, to X4 Foundations. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to continue uh, the Boron mission, uh, the Boron storyline here. And so, Boso Ta has us flying towards some, well, what he said were magnetars, but if I look on the map, the points that he wants us to go to are not actual magnetars. Um, so, let's just uh, go ahead and see. What this is all about. You have arrived at the precise position. Excellent. Taking measurements now. There's something no. here. This is no good. We will have to disregard these readings. Oh well. This shall not dishearten us. Assistant. Onwards to the next position. Bosota, may I? ask you a personal question. By all means, Neela T. What makes you choose to remain out there? All alone in that tiny tank of yours? Are you not tempted to reunite with your kind? Now that we are reconnected? Nothing would delight me more than to explore the provinces myself. And to get out of this tube for once. But my work is simply too important. After years enslaved in the service of advancing split weaponry, I now preside over what is quite possibly the most advanced scientific facility in the network. That's my I'm house. I'm sorely tempted to abandon post. Even if it is just for a little while, I would most certainly love to see the Great Reef in person. But ultimately, my work here is so much more important than my personal desires. So what is behind your enduring fascination with Great Reef? If you will forgive my candor, you seem to be rather fixated on this particular system. Actually, I was born there. Not that I would have any memory of it. Then shortly, after I was hatched, I was taken to Argon space. But wait, that would mean you were released. Yes, indeed. If the records are correct, I am 47 years old. Absolutely incredible. I never imagined I would ever meet someone so aged and venerable. Hence my fear of spending time away from my laboratory. While my mind remains sharp, I must exercise it for the benefit of all. So I guess in Boron terms, he's uh, considered old. Interesting. 47 years old. Wow. I wish I was 47 years old again. Taking the second set of measurements. Blasted photoplankton. Nothing. Again. We shall try once more. I know I want to something. I can feel it in my fins. All right. You know, it is strange. Our lifespan is short. At least in comparison to the other known sentient species. When you think about it, very few boron of the provinces of Drift will recall you. All the benevolent leadership of our monarch. Yet, ask any one of them. And finding a way back home will be their preeminent priority. How is it that we are driven to pursue such things? Even on the thinnest of leads, is this inherent boron naivete, or an innate scientific drive? Do you guys it's just want to get home? Nature. We are known for being pacifists and scientists, but underneath all of that, are we not first optimists? I would say you are. Excellent. Yes, this position seems promising. Taking readings of the phenomenon now. Hmm, curious. What? No, this will not do at all. Assistant, something seems to be interfering with the measurements. You must get to the bottom of this at once. Mm, okay. Fly to the asteroid. That is definitely not a magnetar. Just saying. This asteroid is highly unusual. It appears to emit some form of residual energy, impeding the accuracy of my readings. You must destroy it. Wait, what? Is that really necessary? Can you not simply account for the interference and adjust your readings accordingly? Or reposition the ship a little for clearer measurements? Inconceivable. We cannot jeopardize these readings in any way. There is no room for error or extrapolation. Everything must be exact. A controlled detonation would be the best course to pursue. You will need spacesuit bombs. 
to detonate the asteroid. Allow me to drop some for you to use at your discretion. Oh, uh, well, that was handy. A word of warning. Do not let the authorities find you with this contraband. Okay. Wait, did we get him? Uh, yeah, uh, wait. Hold on. I think something just bugged out because it says we need to acquire them. What? It didn't act like it normally does when you bring something into your inventory. And the quest seems to think that I have not acquired them. <sighs> Crap. Okay. I think something just went haywire on us. Okay. Well, I guess I'm going to have to reload a save. And get back to this point. And when I get back to this point before I bring the spacesuit bombs in, I'll bring you guys back. Okay, guys, we're back uh, to the spot right before we take in the spacesuit bombs. Um, so let's go ahead now. And I just saved too right before I started the recording again, in case something goes crazy again. So let's pull them in and hopefully. The mission will recognize that we have them now. Now, don your spacesuit assistant. Okay, so let's get. Where is the asteroid? It's right here. Let's get right up next to it. Uh, but then we're going to turn and face the other direction. Okay. Get out of our seat. Hello. Pegasus, Vanguard. Excellent. Attach several bombs to the asteroid now. All right. So it says three bombs. I don't know. I've never used these before, so I'm not sure how close we have to get. So let's assume we have to get somewhat close. Oh, yeah. Okay. It says... Oh! I guess we're there. I, I have no light here, so... Okay, back up a little bit here. Okay. Hopefully that is where we need to be. Okay, let's try this. And detonate. Uh, I should probably get out of here first. Use your secondary weapon. Okay. Yeah, let's not detonate while we're right here. Boso, you need to just kind of relax a little bit, dude. Seriously. Okay, let's get out away from the asteroid a bit. I mean, I don't know how far away we need to be, but... I guess we'll try right here. Okay, here we go. Bluey. Quite the spectacle. Obliteration may have appeared to be an extreme approach to resolving our issue, but it seems to have done the trick. Okay. Yeah, hopefully nobody owned that asteroid, I guess. Docking granted. Assistant, please return to the initially designated position at once. All right, just relax. I'm getting there. This is... Oh my! 
Would you look at that? That is... That is five magnetars. Each rotating at a comparable speed. Oh, wait. Actually, this cannot be right. One rotation every 1.884 seconds, which equals one rotation per 3.14 thorium transitions, which... Oh, you might not be following. Their rotational speeds are precisely identical. Five? With identical speeds? But that is impossible. As we are observing it right now, it would be more accurate to say that it is highly improbable. But yes, the odds of this phenomenon occurring naturally are incredibly, unfathomably minuscule. And, viewed from this position, their positioning appears oddly symmetrical as well. The stars seem to be pointing towards that blue giant. I wonder if... Oh my! The radiation readings emanating from the blue giant are incredible! Incredible? How? They are oddly regular, in a manner that should not be possible. And they repeat, like a signal. Could... could this be what we have been missing? Surely not. That would mean... Did... did someone mean for us to find this? Wait, a message written in the stars? For... you? Oh no, please! Not meant for me specifically. But this constellation cannot conceivably be a natural occurrence. Its existence is a manifestation of intent. The Alliance of the Word still seeks a means to interface with the gate technology. We may well have just found something worthy of closer inspection. I shall forward these findings to Nomenkaret's team immediately. Assistant, you should head back to the expedition outpost now. In the meantime, I shall apply my intellectual suckers to the details of our discovery. <laughs> intellectual suckers. Explorer, do not for a nanosecond think that I am not coming with you. You can come with me. Just be prepared to fight some cock if we have to. Uh, okay, well, that was interesting. Um, let's take a look at the mission. Oh. Discovery that you and Bozo taught me is tremendously interesting. I cannot yet explain how the two are connected, but these energy readings seem to be compatible with the jump gate, at least according to the science team's tentative simulations. It is a cipher, deliberately placed to allow us access to the network. I do not know whether that can be said conclusively. These are fantastical claims to be making without any weight of evidence. Perhaps the jump gates draw some of their function from anomalous occurrences, such as your synchronized stellar bodies. Or perhaps whoever built these gates used the blue giant as a constant point of reference, one that is detectable throughout key areas of the network and used for calibration of some kind. We do not yet have sufficient data, so I hesitate to spring to conclusions. That said, your findings certainly accelerate our scientific timeline. Explore. Talk to me in person so that I may brief you on how we will proceed. It is quite obvious why he is so hesitant to entertain my hypothesis. I shall admit, it seems rather ludicrous on the face of it. But I believe he will rue dismissing the concept so readily to encounter this phenomenon now. Just as we are making our first foray into jump gate interaction, is a coincidence of astronomical proportions. He's just... He's just being reasonable. I don't blame him. Uh, okay, well, I guess that means we go back to Sanctuary of Darkness and we dock at the outpost that I'm assuming they have built now or in the process of building. And we talk to Numankum in a minute. Wow, they're building like a whole thingamadoodle right around the gate there. Check that out. Interesting. Successfully docked. Oh, this is a cool looking bridge. 
Nice. Ah, there you are. There I'm I am. Lita Wee's administration on a research strategy and experimentation protocols. The science team is making the final calibrations. And, as you can see, the Alliance of the Word has worked strenuously to construct all of the necessary energy infrastructure. We have concluded our preparations, awaiting confirmation to proceed. Oh, the delicious heady feeling of pre-experiment anticipation. But assistant, I would be surprised if our experiments here escaped the attention of the cog. Oh, great. The Boron scientist has a point. I shall defer to your judgment on when we should commence the experiment. Shall we initiate proceedings? Uh... I should probably, at the very least, bring my Corvette and my little squadron over here. So, yeah. N not ready yet. Very well. Return to us when you have made your preparations. Okay. I have no idea how big or bad this attack's going to be. Um, I mean, we could bring the rattlesnake up here, but that's going to take a while. So, I guess what we'll do is... Let's go let's go ahead and bring the Corvette here. And we'll we'll try it and see how it goes, I guess. I don't know what else to say about that. All right, so let's grab the Nemesis. And I want the Nemesis uh, I'm going to have it fly to th this beacon. And then this one, and then this one. That way, it doesn't go through the dangerous space. So I will. I'm going to cut the camera here, and I'll bring you guys back when I when the Nemesis gets here. And then we'll give it a try and see what happens. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys. I have uh, the Corvette and its squadron here with us. I wonder if I can talk to Numonket via a communication. No, it doesn't look like it. Goodbye. So I'm going to have to actually dock with Minotaur, that Vanguard. ship. Um, I don't know. Does this ship Wayfinder. have a, a dock for a medium? Docking not nope. possible. Okay. Well, then let's, um, let's get right next to it. Let's see, the dock is over this way. And I'm just going to have the Corvette sit here. And we'll jump back into the scout. Just a dock and talk to him. Hopefully it'll, they'll give us enough time to get back into... Pegasus, Vanguard. Um... The Corvette before Hello. things get too hot and heavy here. Successfully docked. Ah, there you are. Here I am. Shall we initiate proceedings? Let's initiate proceedings. Science team, you have authorization. You are green to go. Um. I can't move. Uploading frequency profile as signal template. You are going to let me get back into my ship, right? <laughs> Before oh, yes. the enemy get here? A change in energy signature is immediately detectable. Indubitably, the signal you helped extract activated something within the gate's mechanism. I can confirm that we can interface with the jump gate. It appears that we can input basic commands. All of this seems to indicate that I really am onto something with the cipher hypothesis. The cadence of the blue giant's radiation output acts as a sort of key. Introduce energy now. Affirmative. Oh, now I can Stay move. Stay on guard, everyone. Explore. Get back out there. Yeah, right. Okay, here. I'm going to pause the game for a second <laughs> so I can get back into the nemesis. Maintain a secure perimeter around the jump gate. Gotcha. Secure Nemesis. perimeter. All right. Excuse me. Hello. There. 
Shirillus Yasmasolus, or however you say your name. Okay, here we go. Cog, as expected. Of course. Naturally. Well, hopefully the calamity will be for them. Hive guard. Okay, hold on. Um, everybody is currently on interception. Unless we get swarmed, I think I want them to attack my target. So that way we can just concentrate fire. Actually, we can probably just fly right through here. Engaging. have enough let's put these guys back on intercept Or what? Protector. Sorry, Neela T. <laughs> that looked like one of the cock ships. I'm glad I didn't kill her. Jeez, that would have been bad. We're taking hits. Yeah, I know we are. She's probably not going to be very happy with me about that. How come those the auto aim things like all over the place there? happen if I would have accidentally killed her. That would not have been a good situation. Forager. 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 Seems like between their ships and Protector. our ships, we're doing a pretty good job of taking these guys out. So is this like one ship or a bunch of ships? Oh, it's a bunch of ships that break up, it looks like. That's interesting. Protector. Bug 
triggered. You're fast. Forager. Gate is what? I've you <laughs> protector. I've inked myself. <laughs> I think they used to say that in the old game too, didn't they? The older games, the boron. I've inked myself. Forager. Forager. That's it. Let's see what happens here. Hold on, I want to make sure I didn't lose anybody. I don't think so. Uh, this guy's kind of in bad shape. Scouts under attack. Oh, we lost the Mako. That sucks. But otherwise, we got a, a, all of our other ships. Okay. So we're still supposed to protect it, so are we just like in a lull here before the next wave comes? Here, I want to look at something else real quick here. Where's Neela T? I think that's her there. So her ship's shields are back. I I guess I, I'm assuming that's her because there's like a little uh well, actually is it this one? No. My guess is I probably would have failed the mission if we would have accidentally killed her. But she looked just like a, a cock ship for, you know, the one that's Kind of a flattened triangle, so to speak. I don't remember what that cock ship's called, but. Oh my goodness. I feel quite nauseous. Uh oh, something's happening. Everyone, fall back. Regroup at my position. Regroup, okay. Regrouping. Let's watch the gate, see what happens. Cutscene. A giant spike in radiation. Well, this is certainly new. Hey! Did it turn on? I think it turned on. Initial readings? Everything. All scans seem to indicate regular jump gate function. Incredible! It really does appear as though we managed to establish a connection between two gates. Very cool. But does it lead to Kingdom End? There's only one method for ascertaining the answer to that question. <laughs> Fleet, move out. All right, let's go. Wait, there is an energy flux. Uh-oh. That's a boron ship. Ooh, that's a big boron ship. transition is achieved. Green lights across the board. No immediate danger detected. Oh my goodness! There's a fleet of Commonwealth ships right here. Greetings, friends. Please tell me you are with the Alliance of the Word. We are indeed. Judging by the equipment surrounding this gate, would it be presumptuous to imagine that you had a hand in activating the jump gate from this side? With the help of the local Boron population, yes. How very impressive. Our scientists have been endeavoring to achieve this for countless times, but to no avail. Then suddenly, without warning, something changed, and we were able to interface with the jump gate. Yes, we have just made a significant breakthrough that brings everything together. You simply must share your findings with us. 
In the meantime, we will harden the gate defensive positions and establish patrols. And of course, our most venerable and beloved Queen Polyphides wishes to receive you and your subordinates to thank you for all you have achieved. It will be an honor. We will also need to instigate ties with the local administration. I may be able to assist in that <laughs> regard, and I cannot deny how thrilled I would be to come aboard as ambassador to my long-lost Boron brethren. All right, cool. Well, that turned out pretty good. Sworn, you and Bozo Tom will be a foot to the success of this entire undertaking. It would only be right for the two of you to join me and my audience with the Queen. Me? Meet the Queen? This is also overwhelming. Come on, Bozo. Let's do it. You and me, buddy. Have an audience with Her Majesty. Okay, cool. Let's do it. Hey, how's Boso getting here, though? Maybe he has, like, long-range teleportation skills. He's got mad skills anyway, because if it wasn't for him, this wouldn't have happened. Entering system. Kingdom end. Nice. Good old kingdom end. I wonder if they have the same music as they used to. I always liked the music in this system. Very green here. Okay, let's go. Let's do a long range. Towering wave. Okay. There we go. through here. Entering reflected stars. I still cannot believe it. Kingdom end. In my lifetime. Look how beautiful it is. And we did it. We established the connection. That's right, you and me, buddy. We are summoned by the Queen, no less. What a marvelous turn of events indeed. And it is reassuring to see the seeds of Boron civilization faring so well. They have weathered isolation far better than the provinces. That is for certain. A strong economy, political stability, no signs of strife or unrest. They seem to be at peace. Now we can finally bring the provinces of the back into the fold. And my people can finally share in that sweet tranquility. Nice. Those are all stations there. And it opens up more trading for us.
Okay, let's take a look at the map. So that's reflected stars. I'll have to send some scouts up here to fully uncover all this. Entering Kingdom End 1. Let's go this way. That music does sound like the music from the older game. Pretty sure it is. I love it. It's awesome. Alright, which one of these lanes are we supposed to get on? This one here. She's not on a station, she's on a ship. Big old ship. Look at that thing. Nice. Uh, do they have a dock for us? Elias Vigilance. Docking granted. Nice. This is probably a big old battleship or maybe even a carrier. Look at this, we're on a queen ship. Woot! Have an audience with her majesty. Successfully docked. Oh, this is so exciting. Nemesis, Vanguard. Throne room. Here we go. You got a briefing room, a brig, a bridge, and a throne room. All rise for Her Royal Highness, the benevolent and wise Queen Polyphides. Greetings, travelers. It is our great pleasure as reigning monarch of the Queendom of Boron to receive you all in this historic moment. Our royal steward positively gushed with praise for his allies. And so I wish to thank each one of you who was so critical in bringing these long lost systems back into the fold. First, Numunkaret. Fearless leader, without whose vision and doggedness, an expedition of such scale would never have been possible. You have our deepest gratitude. You are most welcome, Your Majesty. The pursuit of knowledge and unity is my paramount drive. I could no more relinquish the task than I could cease breathing. Nila T, our loyal subject and long-lost kinswoman. You have done your utmost to maintain the safety and security of the Severed Realm, despite hardship and adversity. And Steward Leader informs us that not for one moment did you let the dream of Kingdom End die. You have our deepest gratitude. It is such an honor to be here, Your Grace. Just to be here, to see the home planet, is all the reward I will ever need. And now for the prodigal spawn, Bozo Ta. You spent a whole lifetime away from home, isolated from all fellow Boron in the most unimaginable manner. And yet, 
You did not let these dreadful circumstances deter you. Welcome home, Ozota. I... I... Just say thanks. Please forgive me. I... I have no words. For once? <laughs> I'm sorry. This is awesome, actually. And then, of course, there is you. Me? The most resourceful, courageous explorer. We have been informed that your grit and fortitude were the backbone of this venture. Without your endeavors, it is doubtful that the Boron of Kingdom End would now be reunited with their brethren, or the Commonwealth at large. We thank you from the deepest well of our being. You are welcome, Your Highness. <laughs> now, Numankaret, we expect that you and your science team will be quite busy for some time to come, exchanging your findings with our own scientists and making sense of all that has occurred here. Yet still, we have a favor to ask of you. It has been a long time since we last shared the network with other species. We ask that you use your expertise to coordinate a mission to reach out to our old allies and adversaries. Let them know that the Boron of Kingdom End have returned. Yay! Everybody I clap. would be honored to oversee such an undertaking. And I already know the perfect candidate to take up these emissarial duties. Explorer, what do you say? Of Me? course we will accept. It presents a unique opportunity to explore every corner of the network. We can only thank all of you again. You are great friends to our people. But now, we are afraid that we must ask you all to take your leave. Our royal duties cannot be postponed any longer. Farewell, dear friends of Boron. This concludes the royal audience. Our honored guests, you are invited to hold your inaugural mission briefing at the designated venue. Please follow me. Okay, go to the briefing room. See you later, your majesty. Did Boso say we? Is he he's still going to hang out with me? I think he is because he's going to do like research for me whenever I get around to actually doing it. Alright, where are we going, new monk? Oh, so he like gets his own office? That's cool. He deserves it. He's worked hard for all this. Listen to the mission debriefing. Before we commence with business matters, may I say that it is a great honor to work with you heralds on your royal mission. My part is to provide you with the necessary information for your mission manager and to monitor your progress. Other than that, I will contact you should the need arise. Please make yourself familiar with your mission manager by activating the training mission we have prepared. The current mission now contains multiple parallel sub-missions. You can track the status of each in the mission manager tab of your map menu. Right? Okay. Um, I know how to use my mission manager. What do you... Wait, what? Nothing's happening when I hit the tab key. Okay, hold on. Probably because I, I think I might have remapped it. I don't remember. Uh, mission manager. Okay. The Queen's Herald. Vital bow food delivery. Reward Bosota's undying gratitude. Activate vital bow food delivery. The Queen of Bor Queendom of Borum decrees a shipment of bow food to be shipped to a friend of the Queendom. Um... Well, we're going to get some traders up here, so let's let's do this. Oh, we have to activate that. Wait, what? Hold on. 
The Queen of Borum seeks to reestablish dip diplomatic relations with various governments in the Jump Gate Network. You are tasked with reaching out to various parties on the Queen's behalf. Before you can embark on the Queen's missions, you need to receive your debrief er, debriefing from the Moncaret. Activate. So I guess they want me to activate that as the next part of the overall mission. Set to active. Right? Okay. Are we good? Very well. Over the course of this endeavor, there will be multiple missions for you to choose from. While it is your duty to complete all missions, the order in which you pursue them is a matter for your own discretion. You are now ready to embark upon your voyage. As mentioned, I will update your mission manager and contact you should the need arise. But for now, you will be left to your own devices. I shall return to the expedition to oversee the science team. So much data to pour over. So many questions still unanswered. You have performed a great service to the scientific community. Thank you. See it through thoroughly to completion, and you will be the pride of the Queendom. And now we turn. Which assignment did you receive? A, a Bofu delivery to Bosota. All oh, right, because he, he always wanted Bofu. That's right, I remember that now. To a Boron scientist? Surely they have a convenient supply of Bofu secured. I don't think we did. I'm afraid you may have drawn the short straw. A mere courier assignment. Well, aren't you all up the... ...for establishing a defense treaty with the Argonne Federation. Well, good for you. I wish you the best of luck. Farewell, dear friend. Okay, um... Right, let's talk to Kulu Mi. Greetings, reputable friend. I am assigned to deliver a sample of our home waters to the Terran Protector. May you travel with speed and without unforeseen events. Renowned friend, I wish you the best of luck. Farewell, dear friend. You can find all the required information in your mission manager. See to it, Harold, and serve the Queendom. Um... Okay, so am I like a citizen of the, the Boron now? Uh, let's take a look at our reputation. So we're already plus 14 with the Queendom. That's fantastic. What about... What about the... Oh, so is there no longer the kingdoms or provinces adrift? I guess they all just now wrapped up into the Queendom. Okay, that's cool. Um, we're still only plus nine with Alliance. We need to get that one last reputation with him. Okay. All right, so I guess that means we are back to um, that point in the game where we can kind of go off now and do what we need to do. Um, but we can certainly grab 50 units of Bofu on our way back to our headquarters since that's where it, they want us to deliver it anyways. So I don't think that's going to be a problem. All right, guys. Well, what I'm going to do is we're going to wrap up this episode here and I am going to indeed head back uh, to Reaver Industries headquarters. And um, we are... Uh, the tentative plan, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get going... Uh, uh, jump in the rattlesnake, and we are gonna go blow up some pirates. And also, you are in Her Majesty's service, I see. How very commendable! It is of the utmost urgency that this modest bow food delivery arrives at my facility. At your Please facility. Deliver the consignment, and then meet with me immediately thereafter. I have marked a bow food chemical lab station which sells bow food, but feel free to find a more lucrative trade source. Mission interrupted. New mission activated. You may also want to learn how to identify profitable trade. I know how to do all that stuff. I guess they're assuming some people play Kingdom Inn for the very first time and don't know the basics of the game. That's probably what's going on there. All right. Let's head back to the cockpit here. 
Anyway, what I was saying is, um, we're going to hello. Um, take it to the, the pirates. We're going to start by targeting the SEA base and taking it down. That's in um, Grand Exchange. But the other thing that I've noticed is there seems to be. You know, I don't know what we're going to do about... We're probably going to have to send a trader up here and tell them they can't jump because I do not want them going through Sanctuary of Darkness. I don't know... Well, unless they can travel through the dangerous zone out of sector without it hurting them. it They'd still have to deal with the cock a little bit, but I mean, this is... A, if they can go in a straight line, they're going to be fairly far away from them. We're going to have to probably test that, actually. But what I was going to say before I interrupted myself is that I think there is probably a cock installation somewhere here in uh, no Nopilios's Fortune, too, because I see my ships are constantly getting attacked by cock ships in here. So we're going to probably see if we can locate that hive and take that out, too. So, so that's going to probably be our second target. But our first target is going to be um, this SCA base, pirate base here in Grand Exchange. We get, we're going to clean the scum out of our systems and make those systems safer. So that is the plan coming up. All right, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I sure did. This was a fun mission and storyline. I really did enjoy it. It was really neat. Um, and so, yeah. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. Remember, I am gone uh, the first week in May. Be back May 8th. Uh, so the last part of that time, uh, I may not have videos out, but when I get back, we will resume. See ya. Bye. Love that music. <laughs>